Okay, so I'm gonna do this the quick and dirty way and not hook a bunch of stuff up, but uh, basically what you're gonna do in audio bus is uh, just to make things simple, you're just going to uh, set uh, ARIA up and we're going to do that by going to sub one. So we're sending our, our first sub mix in to Loopy. This just goes into Loopy. Um, and then inside of Aurea, what we're gonna do is we're going to, um, we're gonna start by adding, uh, we'll add a mono track for the mic. And then we're gonna add uh, six stereo tracks for Loopy. Okay, so in um, so in order to add your Loopy tracks, you're gonna hit FX here, and then you'll see you've got under under your channel strip, you've got uh, little drop downs here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down and we're gonna find Loopy. And there they are. So we're going to tr uh, choose track one here. And then we're going to do the same thing for all of the other ones here. Uh, track two. Drive six. All right, so now we've got uh, <clears throat> excuse me, we've got inputs for all of our loopy tracks. They're all they're all uh, armed to record so that you can uh, basically monitor uh, the output coming through Aurea there. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to over here on track one, which is our mic, we're going to take that and we're going to assign it to subgroup one, which is going to route input into this first channel into your uh, your first bus here um, so if I uh, arm this you can see I'm getting level from just talking here on, on one and that it's going into uh, to my sub one here now now over here on the side uh, in my audio bus channel our uh, command uh, bar I've got my loopy control so if I just go ahead and hit record here that's weird uh, then uh, I can switch over here and I see I've now I've recorded a track uh, so and a couple other ones over there so basically that's that um, as far as getting your record uh, recording into Loopy um, and of course if you wanted to use any other apps or whatever all you would have to do is just add them on a track in here uh, send them to bus one and that would send them to the input of Loopy so that's that's kind of cool um, so then what we're gonna do is we are going to um, set up uh, an aux send for um, for Tornado and instead of choosing the Sugar Bytes Tornado here which is the plug-in version um, since you want to have the XY controls we're gonna go ahead and scroll through here I've got a lot of stuff installed here um, we're gonna scroll and scroll and find Tornado and that's going to open up the external app. So now we've got um, we've got our effects here. Let me just, uh, switch back. Now this is via interamp audio. You notice this isn't actually routed inside 
of audio bus. You're not seeing it there. So it's using inner app audio within Aurea uh, to bring that in as an insert effect. Uh, so now that's on aux one. If I turn aux one up here, then um, I will hear the effect of Tornado on what's coming in here, but it doesn't record if I record it through the loopy, but you said that you didn't really need that anyway. So it'll still record straight in, if, uh, but you'll be hearing what you would be hearing if you route it back through the effect. So um, now since we've got, um, so uh, if you don't want to monitor the mic, you turn that off. Since we've got a track here on track, uh, at least track one, two, and three, now when you play this back, you'll see that you're, uh, that these are coming through. This is track one, track two, and track three. So this gives you kind of some mixing opportunities. And if you want the playback of any of the tracks to go through Tornado, you just flip, you just uh, turn up your aux end, and then you'll hear the, the Tornado effects there. And uh, you can, of course, open up Tornado then, and and uh, any of the tracks that you uh, um, any of the tracks that you uh, turn up the aux end on, you're going to hear the effects of Tornado in. So hopefully that makes sense. If not, I'll uh, I'll cover some more. Thanks.